Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to have you here with me today. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Rachel. I'm the founder of one of the UK's fastest scaling accountancy practices and through that I get to work with 800 business owners who are all looking for the very best ways to use and find accounting software. So in today's video I'm going to do a deep dive into the Zero accounting dashboard. Zero is one of my favorite accounting softwares. It is one of the favorite accounting softwares of our clients. And actually the Zero dashboard is something that really puts Zero ahead of its competitors in terms of how easy it is to use, how easy it is to curate that as a business owner. So you can actually use Zero to run your business better, faster, and smarter. So let's get stuck in. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to curate your Zero dashboard so that it is giving you as a business owner the numbers and the data at your fingertips that is going to help you to make the best decisions possible for your small business. So the Zero dashboard is literally one of the best bits of Zero. It is one of my favorite landing pages of all the accounting software. The reason I love it is because it is giving you choices. As a business owner, you can choose if you want to see your data in numbers or in a more visually represented way, which for our clients, they absolutely love. Some people find it really easy to focus in on numbers. Other people find it a lot easier and simpler to see that data represented in a visual way. So not only can you choose how that data is reported to you, but you can also customize the data so that you are only seeing the data that is important to you. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you is how to remove things from your dashboard that you don't want to see. So first up, we are going to go into the top right-hand side and we're going to click edit dashboard. Once you've clicked edit, you'll see the dark blue ticks next to the show button. And so if we take this as an example, this is a really good example. We've got two business bank accounts here connected to zero. One with a bank feed connected, we can see it's an active bank account with active transactions. And then a second bank account, which has not got a bank feed connected to it, there's no bank balance imported and no transactions imported. So it could be that you've accidentally connected a bank account or it's an old bank account that you are no longer using. So it's probably the case that you don't want to see that bank account every single time you log into zero it doesn't require space on your dashboard and you don't need to see it. And so we're just gonna tick the show box to unselect it, click save, and then it will no longer appear on your dashboard. You can see how easy it is to show and hide different elements of your dashboard. So I'm gonna keep that bank account out because it looks right that we don't see that. It looks like it's an old bank account. So not only can I choose what I show and what I hide, I can also change the way I can see this data. So if as a business owner, if we look at this bank balance, we've got a bank feed connected and we can see that the bank balance is going up over time and we've probably got lots of ins, lots of outs, and then it quite dramatically over the last two weeks goes down. As a business owner, if my bank account dramatically goes down, there are two things that I'm going to want to keep an eye on. We can see that we've got them here. If my bank balance drops like that, I'm going to want to keep a very close eye on who owes me money. And this is the invoices owed to you section. So now I'm going to show you how to move elements of your dashboard so that they appear in the order that you want them to appear on. And by that, I mean that you are literally just able to drag and drop the different sections of your dashboard so that it looks and feels very intuitive to you as a business owner. So if I've got my bank feed here, I'm going to want invoices owed to me next to it. So I can see, right, that's gone down, but I can also see I've got 20,000 pounds of people that owe me money. And actually of that 7,000 of it is overdue. So if I click save, we can see that as soon as I log into zero, I've got immediate oversight into all oh, that's gone down. And I can also see here very visually that this graph is showing me the last 30 days, but this is showing me the last six months of cash in and cash out. Could be that I was expecting that absolutely no problems at all. But again, just being able to see that really visually helps me to make the best decisions possible for my business. So we've looked at how to show and hide things on the dashboard. We've looked at how to move things on your dashboard. But then we're going to move on to one of my favorite bits about the Zero dashboard, and that is the accounts watch list. 
So again, we take this example, our cash has gone down. So for me as a business owner, maybe I've got employees that have credit cards or I've got expenses that are maybe feel a little bit out of control. I might have a budget. I'm not sure if people are sticking to it. And so I can curate an account watch list so that as soon as I log into Xero, I can see a list of very specific accounts that I want to be able to see. And I can see how much I've spent in that category this month compared to how much I've spent in that category on a year to date basis. So I'm gonna show you how to curate your account watch list in Xero. So on the account watch list, I'm gonna click the three dots on the right hand side. I'm going to click edit accounts watch list. Okay, so this is my list of nominal codes and I'm gonna pick an expense code that if it was my business, I'd want to keep an eye on. So subscriptions are something that can escalate very quickly. People love a subscription. And so we just need to click into the nominal code and select the box that says show on dashboard watch list. I can click save. I can go back to my accounting dashboard. And then you can see that subscriptions are showing me how much I spent this month and how much I've spent on a year to date basis. So not only can I curate exactly what I can see down here as part of the wider dashboard, if you click back into the three dots, we can also show our budget. So this is a really brilliant way of being able to see as soon as you log into Xero, what your budget is, how much you've spent and your year to date. And so if I was gonna curate this dashboard, if it was mine, I know that I do monthly payment runs. I'm very on top of the bills that I need to pay. So I'm, I'm gonna exclude that from my dashboard. I'm gonna exclude the bank account that I don't need. I'm gonna want my cash underneath my bank so that I can compare them. And then I'm gonna want invoices owed to me and then my account watch list underneath. And so this is my curated zero dashboard. I've got my bank balance. This is my to-do list. I've got those to reconcile. I've got cash in and cash out over the last six months in a visual format, but I can hover and see specific numbers and I can click into those numbers if I need to. I can see straight away who owes me money, how much they owe, and exactly how much is overdue. All of this is drillable. So straight away from that dashboard, I can click in and see exactly who owes me money. And then again, without even clicking one button, I can log into my Xero, see an accounts watch list, see a curated list of account codes that I have specifically chosen, and I can compare them to my budget without even clicking a button just by logging in to my dashboard. And as you can probably tell, the Zero dashboard really is one of my favorite resources to lean into your accounting data, increase your financial well-being, increase your financial education, and fundamentally use that subscription for good. Thank you so much for joining me today. I would love to hear some feedback in the comments to this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to find out every single time I release another video like this one. I do use the comment section to decide which zero tutorials to create next. So please let me know if you've got a very specific question. I would love to be able to help you find the answer and I hope to see you again very soon.